Hello everybody and welcome to Love Me Some Melissa. I am Melissa. I want to talk today a little bit about vision boards and the power of visualization. Now if you're looking at this video, I know you've seen tons of videos about vision boards and the law of attraction and all of the fun stuff and that's cool. But I want to share my board with you and just to share with you a couple of tips and um, just the aspect that I took when I created the board in terms of trying to make my board a little bit more interactive. Okay? But before I share the board with you let me just say this it's really important to know that whenever you create your vision board and you uh, go daily to look at your board and meditate on it you want to make sure that you also have a plan of action because you have to be taking steps towards achieving some of the goals on the board now if you don't if you aren't taking any steps even if they're really small steps if you aren't taking any steps or if you aren't active you know in trying to make some of these things happen for yourself, you're going to feel like the board isn't working. It's not that the board isn't working, it's just, just that on the other end, you aren't really doing enough to help yourself um, uh, create or manifest some of the things that you have on the board. So it's really important to make sure you get a plan together. Now I read somewhere where someone said that um, our lives are just parentheses in the space of eternity. Parentheses in the space of eternity is like a very short period of time. It's not a lot of time at all that we're here. So while we're here, we do have a responsibility to try and live the best life that we can live. If there are things that we want out of life, we need to set up our lives in a manner that's going to allow us to have it. And that sometimes means doing the hard work that comes along with trying to get it. All right, so that's pretty much the scope of it. So let me go ahead and just kind of pull up my board for you. And let me just make sure that you can see my board here. You can. Now, let me turn it this way. Okay. So um, one of the things that I've done, one of the tips that I have is that whenever you're creating your board, make sure that you're choosing images that resonate with you. Make sure that you're choosing images that make you feel something when you look at them because that will make you proud of the board that you've created and that will make you want to continue to come back to the board and look at the board. Um, and you'll just be excited about viewing your board because when every Every image that you look at makes you feel something. So that's really important. Um, the other uh, tip that I wanted to give you is make sure you have a combination of uh, beautiful images and positive words. Now the words are very important. You know, some people say, well, they want to be debt free. But you don't want to put debt free on your board because you're using the word debt. And every time you come to look at your board, you have to see that word debt. And that's not really a good thing. You don't really want to see that. Um, the uh, Another example of that is I have up here courage, you know, and everybody knows that it's, um, you know, about having no fear and things of that nature, but I don't want to see the word fear on my board. So I just put the word courage. So make sure that the words that you use are positive words. Whenever you look at you, your board, you only want to see positive things. Okay, um, tip number three, um, use your name throughout your board, I, if you like, but that's what I've done. Melissa, use your voice to inspire the world. Oprah talks to Melissa. I'm working on a book. I have been for many years, and um, hopefully it'll make Oprah's book club when I'm done. So Oprah talks to Melissa. Melissa sings Sarah Vaughn. Now, I've been singing for many, many, many years, and I want to... I'm wanting to do something more with jazz, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. But using your name helps you to see yourself in these roles. You know that you're speaking to you. You know, when you look at the board and you see your name throughout the board. Melissa, you can master bel canto music lessons. So I want to take the bel canto lessons and seeing my name, telling myself that I can do it, that's also very encouraging. So that's a, a, another tip I wanted to share with you. Um, also, I wanted to make my board interactive. 
So I felt like I needed to ask myself a series of questions just to remind myself that I need to be staying, you know, active um, in terms of trying to get some of these things done. Now, the first thing I ask myself is, did you give thanks? It's really important to give thanks and show gratitude because that opens the door to you getting more. Now, that's not the reason why we want to give thanks. We need to give thanks anyway, but it does open the door for you to receive more. The next question I ask myself is, have you used I am? Now, we don't realize it, but we do have a lot of negative thinking in terms of lack and in terms of doubt. So by using the word I am, um, or, uh, or the words or the phrase I am, it kind of gives us, it puts us back in a place of uh, being uh, back in a, um, I guess, zone of, of seeing ourselves in a positive light. I am happy. I am healthy. I am strong. I am um, expecting something wonderful to happen to me today. I am loved. I am capable of giving love. So, so putting yourself in the I am position is putting yourself in a state of being that thing. Thing. So that kind of washes away, or or washes away rather, all of the negative um, uh, ideas and thoughts that we may have, and it puts us in a positive state of being. So the next question I ask myself is, did you take the lead? Now that one's really important to me. It's more of a, a confidence thing because if I took the lead on doing something for that day, then I know that I can take the lead and allow myself to uh, manifest some of the other things on on my board. So then I ask myself, did you study, practice, or exercise? A lot of times I need to do all three every day. But um, there are some of the things on this board that, that you know, I, they require a lot of study, a lot of exercise, a lot of practice. So I can't just come to the board and look at the board and expect things to happen. I'm going to have to really put in the work. And one example is here. This image of this young lady here. Um, so yeah, she has a perfect body and I want that body and I'm telling you, I can't come and look at the board and, and have it um, created that way. I'm going to have to do some work and exercise and, and a lot of it. So um, yeah, I, I hold myself accountable by asking myself um, some of these questions. Um, the final question that I ask myself is, did you conquer your challenges? Now every day I pray and I always declare victory over the challenges that I'm going to have to face for that day. And I do that because if the challenge comes back again, I'll know how I conquered it and I'll be ready for it the second time around. So at the top of my board I ask, what are you manifesting? So I want to make sure that I'm reminding myself to stay in a good position, a positive position, so that I can manifest good things. So what am I manifesting? One of my favorite quotes on this board, well actually all of them are my favorites, but what stands out to me is amazing people do not just happen. That's real motivation for me because everybody who uh, well, we're all amazing in our own way, but um, really, really amazing people, they get out there and they do the work to allow um, themselves to have the life that they want. Okay? So, um, yeah, those are some of the tips that I have. Um, for you and just the way that I've made my board interactive. I'm not quite done with my board. There are a couple of other things I want to do. Like I know that I need to travel more so I'll probably put some things on the board uh, regarding initiating the idea that I need to travel more. The other thing is you probably uh, noticed on my board that I don't have uh, a lot of materialistic things like houses and cars and stuff like that. Well I do have the money. That's kind of materialistic um, but money is a necessity. Come on. But I do have the lottery winner and the power to prosper and you know the money and all of that and I'm kind of feeling like if I can achieve some of the things on this board then I'll have the money to go out and buy the car that I want the house that I want or whatever so I didn't really put the car in the house and all of that stuff on the board because um, I, I feel like I'll be able to just go out and get it but um, everything else, yeah, so those were just some tips for you guys, and um, I hope they were really helpful um, for you, um, and I hope you liked the video, and you may feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe, and I promise to have more great videos to come. So thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Love Me Some Melissa. I am Melissa. Thank you again, and God bless you on your journey in life.